Welcome back to the Dance Fair Minute. So today I'm going to talk about the differences between sales and branding and why content marketing is branding first and then a distant second could it be a sales tool. So what do I mean by that? So obviously sales is anything that results in a direct transaction, right? Like all the value is being provided with the transaction itself. So whatever you're giving to someone, whether a product or service, they're paying you something in return and you hopefully both agree that you've received equal value or someone slightly more value, but the other one, nobody feels like they've been ripped off, right? So that's sales and that that's a good sales. There's also bad sales where people do feel like they've been ripped off. Branding, which is content marketing, is totally different. It's you you're someone trying to sell something at some point. But what you're first trying to do is establish trust and build a relationship with the other party through content, through creating content. So this is branding. You are building your brand. You are not, your content is not directly causing you to have a transaction, okay? It might, but that's that's not the point. The point of content marketing is to build your brand, establish trust. So where a lot of content marketers go wrong is they create content trying to get sales, trying to generate sales from that piece of content. And what you should really be doing is establishing trust. So remember in a, in a transaction, in a sale, the value is after the transaction has been made. And in content marketing, all the value is up front provided by you, the brand, providing all the value up front, and then hopefully getting a percentage of those people to give you some value in return in the form of, uh, in the form of a sale. So that's the Dance Fair Minute. Talk to you soon, dancefair.com.